so this is going to be the first uh, video in a blog that is going to be about me taking a juice only fast for we'll say 15 days I got inspired from this with the Joe Cross film Fat Sick and Nearly Dead which uh, just happened to stumble upon by chance and when I did stumble upon it finally watched it on Netflix and I think like most people who saw it it really uh, surprised me and shocked me in a way just exactly what these two men who had uh, you know excess amount of weight excess amount of weight health problems problems of lethargy just being lazy and went to a juice only diet for 60 days and they don't it's just completely different people at the end of it as far as their body weight how they look and how their body is acting and also just how they're able to kind of wean themselves off of medication for it too because their body is healing itself since it's not being shoved with processed foods and you know stuff that you shouldn't be eating all the fast foods and again as they say with everything always in moderation so as an experiment <clears throat> what I have done is after getting off of work today I went straight home I shouldn't say straight home I went straight to the uh, grocery store and I picked up a bottle of V8 as well as a <laughs> Naked Juice Green Machine. Now the V8, I picked this up because part of the juice diet, my little bit of the research uh, for the 15-day cleanse or 15-day trial, whichever you want to call it, is two of the juices have to be green. When they say green, they mean they have to be have more vegetables than fruit, but a ratio of anywhere from 80 to 20 to uh, 70 to 30. So there has to be a higher concentrate of vegetables to the fruit. A lot of the recipes, like the mean green juice that they use in the movie Fat, Sick, and Nearly Dead, it contains celery, uh, a little bit of parsley, kale, and then a green apple, and then lemon juice, all kind of juice together. So the V8 is not necessarily a green juice. It's more of a, as you can see, a red juice. Now, the only time I've had V8 was when I was a really little kid. My mother loves it, and now my dad loves it since they have the spicy variety. And I think part of it was just a psychological thing, the fact that I'm drinking vegetables, which you can probably tell, which those who know me, I am not someone who eats a lot of vegetables. <laughs> and as someone who eats quite a bit more pizza, which is now considered a vegetable, thank you very much, United States Congress, uh, I had my healthy dose of vegetables of the round sauce cheese and pepperoni variety many a time ago. So now I picked up this V8 because I want to see actually how it does taste. I mean, it's got everything. It's got stuff in here that I like. I mean, if you look at the ingredients, let's see. It has uh, carrots, has celery, parsley, lettuce, uh, spinach. I love a good spinach salad. And tomatoes, which I have a weird love-hate relationship with. I don't like them on a burger. I love them in salsa. I love them on pizza. I love marinara sauce, but I'm not like the person like my dad who can just take a whole tomato, put, sp sprinkle salt on it, and take a bite out of it like an apple. That just seems weird to me. It's like a slice of American cheese on apple pie. That just sounds disgusting. So this is my first bottle of V8, and this is going to be with uh, a fresh perspective. So you see how it is. Just picked this up from the store about maybe 10 minutes ago. It smells like tomato juice. It smells like tomato soup. It's cold. Let's take a sip. It's not bad, actually. Not bad. It's like tomato soup. What's that cold tomato soup? Bosch? Bosch? Never mind, not important. Let's try again. A little salty, but not bad. I like it. I actually like it. I don't feel like I'm going to gag or anything. I think definitely it'll be a change of pace doing this. This is the first round of the experiment, so let's take a little bit more. Oh, of course it tastes like soup. Campbell's. Campbell's right there. Anyway, some weird conspiracy. They also have a spicy variety, which I think I would like because I enjoy spicy foods. I got a pepper belly, so I think we can definitely do that. And I've already drank about maybe a quarter of this bottle just sitting here. 
I think I can do this. I think I can get used to this. Juice like this, but of course homemade, that I blend and juice myself, I think I can like that. But of course, looking at the nutritional facts, 70 calories per one bottle, and this has 12 ounces. <clears throat> it's not bad at all. And also, this entire bottle has three servings of vegetables, which is very good. Now, the other reason, the other juice I got here <clears throat> is this naked green machine juice. And I picked this up because normally I get the red machine, the gold machine, the blue machine, which the red machine, of course, has cherries, apples, uh, raspberries, stuff like that. <clears throat> and the gold machine has a lot of citrus, so papaya, orange, mango, pineapple. And, of course, the blue machine, uh, blueberries, pomegranates, asahi, blackberries, stuff like that. This, however, while it does have uh, the fruit inside of two and a half apples, half a banana, a third of a kiwi, and a third of a mango, it does also, according to the ingredients, have uh, broccoli, spinach, barley grass, wheat grass, parsley, uh, and ginger root. And it does look green, and it does look a little, not possibly the most appetizing thing in the world, because you can also see, well, the sludge is no longer, since it's been, I've just been mixing it here. Sorry, roommate's dog. Let's shake this up. Let's try this. I'm sure this is going to be much sweeter and a little bit easier to go down than the V8 vegetable juice. Now, if I'm sure that this had a little bit of a sweetness to it of, say, a green apple or some lemon or even some ginger, it might be a little bit better. I'm not saying it's horrible. It's not. But it's also not going to be nearly as tasty as this green juice. Let's shake it up just a little bit more. Let's see here. There's actually a little bit of a slimy feel to this. Look at that. Look at that green juice. Look at that greenness there. It's a little funky. It's not too bad, though. I think definitely since it has that sweeter taste to it, it is going down a bit better. Let's try this to alternate it with the V8. Again, I can get used to this. This isn't bad. Wonder if it'd be what it would be like at room temperature. <laughs> Interesting. So that's that. And of course, this wouldn't this all this going through this if I when I not if it's going to be when I actually go through with this. Once a juicer is secured, it of course will be all natural. I'll be juicing it myself with ingredients I buy uh, at the grocery store or at the health food store, and I'll be making my own portions, experimenting with my own recipes. So there'll be things in there that I like things that maybe I don't like but need to try, and things that uh, will help my body. And of course, I will be chronicling it all throughout since I now, hmm, since the technology of blogging is so advanced and so wonderful, I will be chronicling it, and we'll have to see what happens. <clears throat> I think the most difficult thing is going to have to be giving up this, which I drank far too much of. That's Mountain Dew. This is just a 16-ounce. I drink about maybe, I'd say anywhere from 20 to 24 ounces of this stuff a day. A day. At my worst, I at my worst, I was drinking maybe about a liter. I don't drink coffee, so this is how I get my caffeine fix. And that's going to be the hardest thing to give up. I usually have about maybe one bottle of this in the morning. Not the best stuff to drink, but it's also reason tastes so good, but there's so much crap in it that you just don't need. Right away, first ingredient, high fructose corn syrup, then sugar, water, yeah. So the goal will be more juice like this, a lot more juice like this, and eliminating this altogether except for a sometimes snack slash treat. So that is the first entry of the food and detox journey. And with that, We'll see what's going to happen later on as we get a juicer and start making some juice and go into town. So with that, we'll sign off.